Hello, hello, everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Sid Meier's Civilization Revolution, and this is part seven. Uh, again, we've had another, uh, we've had another little bit of a delay, uh, about a month or so, I apologize for that once again, but, uh, um, here we are back, and, uh, actually, before we get started, I just want to make a quick announcement, um, as a lot of people, I believe, are starting to become aware that Civilization Revolution on Xbox Live has recently become a free download. Um, it is the free with gold download over Xbox Live. So uh, this began on March 1st, and it will continue up until March 15th. Uh, starting March 16th, they'll introduce a new one, and Civ Rev will um, no longer be free. But from now up until March 15th, of 2014, obviously, this is um, just in case someone sees this video afterwards. The game will be a free download, and uh, since it has become a free download, I have received an enormous amount of comments, likes, views, and subscribers on this channel since then. So uh, thank you so much for the support, guys. So let's continue with that. I just really, really appreciate it. All right. So let's just dive right back into part seven. Here we go. Right here with our island of New York City. Well, actually just New York. Alright, there's absolutely nothing left to do on this turn. So we're just going to end it. And advance the year to 1350. Alright, so I have a fresh turn. The year 1350. Alrighty. Uh, let's take a look here. What do we have to do? New Orleans, or New Orleans, pardon me, has uh, about to build a harbor. Do I want to do that, or do I want to have them do something else? Uh... No, what? Uh, actually, nah, a harbor is a-okay there. We'll stick with that. And New York, and that's New York with that courthouse. Uh, we're going to rush that. Um, I had brought this menu just up a second ago. As soon as our gold counter over there currently says 963, as soon as we reach that next milestone of 1,000 gold, we'll start rushing a couple buildings. And then, after we do that, um, I have something I have to do. I have to build a new city. Uh, just like I said I would. And I have decided on a name. Um, which one? Well, just keep watching and find out. Alrighty, uh, do we have anything else to do in our other cities real fast? Boston's about to build the Magna Carta pretty soon. Workshop's coming along in Washington. And I have Abydos working on a barracks. Uh, hmm. Got a couple, uh, uh, actually, you know what? Let's just get you in position for when we create our settler out of New York City. I keep wanting to call it New York City. <laughs> out of New York. Uh, now, one other thing you'll notice up here in the, uh, top here. Cue the dramatic music. And cease the dramatic music. That is a uh, ancient artifact, which we are going to go for, but I'm waiting. I'm waiting for it because I don't want to get it just yet. A couple things I need to do first, then I'm going to take it. I'm confident that no AI is going to beat me to that. Otherwise, I would go for it right away. End the turn. A lot of German movements here. Wow, that has a lot of troops. Hmm. Well, if they try anything, Abydos here now has a barracks, so we can now generate veteran, trooper, veteran troopers. And we're going to actually... Actually, no, we'll wait to... Uh, yeah. We'll just put the production into a wall. Um, I have no intention of building that wall, but I'll save up some production. And we'll rush a couple of units real fast if the Germans should decide that they want to try some kind of offensive maneuver against us. Alright, and New Orleans has completed its harbor. Uh, let's see, we have all this new food, but not really, uh, not enough population to take advantage of that just yet. Um, I could move some of that production, but I'd rather keep that coming in and we'll just slowly work our way up towards, uh, 
getting more and more food coming into the city as the population increases. But for now, let's switch that production over to a library. Take advantage of the fact that we're going to be utilizing those C-squares for science and boost that up. Alright, move you over one more square so you have a head start to where our new um, YouTuber named city will be. Let's see. Yep, end the turn. These turns are going by pretty quickly. Not a lot to do right now except sit and wait. I wonder where those German troops are going. I'm very, very curious. I don't think I'm at war with him. Um, I'm actually going to have to check that. Who is winning? Uh, let's see. We are all even for capitals. Technology-wise, I still have an advantage over Gandhi. Um, I'm beating him by three. I believe last time I looked, I have 19 technologies to his 16. And everyone else is still tra it's trailing a little bit. Uh, one thing of note of uh, to note there is that Bismarck has actually made something of a jump. He was really, really trailing last time I took a look at him. So, maybe that's why the Germans have gotten so aggressive all of a sudden. They've got some extra technologies to back it up. I'm still the wealthiest. And, let's see, looks like Bismarck's also acquired a little bit of extra culture. He's got four great people or wonders. To my five great people or wonders. Or converted cities, however... No one has converted a city yet, although I hope to do that so you guys can uh, get a look at that. Alrighty, and our top ten cities in the world. Boston. Delhi. Washington. Are you serious? Delhi's better than Washington? Well, okay, he's got two great people in there, and Washington's got none. Ah, alright, you know what? We're going to have to do something about that. That does not sit well with me. But continuing on, Berlin... Uh, Thebes, Athens, uh, Dortmund, all right, which I can't see, apparently, uh, Bismarck, okay, another reason for his aggression, uh, he's apparently expanded to, I'm guessing, to, uh, some island out in the sea, um, where? Who knows, he's surrounded by the fog of war. Then we have eight with Abydos, I am amazed that he could possibly have a city better than Abydos, wow, okay, uh, Stuttgart, and, of course, New Orleans. Well, I'm actually a little bit surprised that uh, my cities are ranked lower than uh, some of the AIs at this point. Abydos, I guess I'm not too surprised of, but this whole Washington Delhi thing's got me a little miffed. We'll fix that, though. Alright, what do we got here? Exalted One. Our wise men have discovered the secrets of religion. Now we can build a cathedral. Okay. Let's see now. You may now rule the nation using the government type Fundamentalism. With Fundamentalism, our ground units will receive an extra plus one attack. However, our libraries and universities will cease to produce science. Do I wish to change the governments? Do I want to stick with a democracy? Or should I make the change? Well, at this point, we're purely in a science race with Gandhi, who is uh, our second challenger. And I'm not at war, or rather, I'm not openly attacking anybody. So, I don't really need that extra attack, so we're going to stick with democracy. Uh, however, before I um, finalize this, one little extra detail here about uh, fundamentalism. Um, that plus one attack, that only works with ground units, as it says. This will not work with any naval craft at all. And uh, something else to note about this, it's plus one attack... Normally, however, if your unit is a veteran, then uh, the 50% attack bonus that a veteran unit gets also applies to that plus one. So it would be plus one and a half attack power, or 1.5. When you get an extra attack boost, veteran status always improves upon it. Or at least I believe so. If, I can, uh, if we come up with an uh, individual moment where I can disprove that, I will say it. Stick with democracy. Alright, great leader. Our wise men require my guidance. What shall we research next? Banking? His, yet another one of his favorite technologies. Espe it's an especially, especially economic technology, and we could build a bank. Well, what else do you do with banking? University. He cannot live without it. It's scientifically significant, and we could build a university. Of course. 
And we could also build the Oxford University wonder. Well, why is Oxford <laughs> University so so special? Um, it costs 75 resources. Correction there, it's actually 150. Only if you are the Romans with their half-price wonders is that 75. And if we build it, we could learn an advanced technology. I wonder what that could be. But uh, what's special about Oxford? Well, it's only just one of the greatest, most renowned universities in the entire world. You will not find many schools that can match Oxford. Not many at all. All right, moving on to invention. He wants it so bad, it's mainly a military technology. We could build the Leonardo's workshop, workshop wonder. Then, of course, we got some expensive technologies down here. Gunpowder. We have not seen any firearms yet in this game yet. Uh, we've got to have it. It's mainly a military technology, and we could build rifleman units. And plus, we could build with the sulfur resource. Uh, let's just maneuver um, this camera a little bit. So, uh, right in between the menu screen there and uh, the scientist, that is a sulfur resource. It. No, come on, don't move on me. There we go. It always appears on a desert square, and it provides an extra three production on that square, in addition to the desert bonus. Uh, okay, apparently the camera keeps moving on me. I don't know why. But just take a good look at that. Um, I sadly am not in reach of that right now with any of my cities, but it's a very good use, uh, resource to have. And then, of course, finally, steam power. Another one of his favorite technologies, and it's mainly a military technology. We could build a modern cruiser unit, and plus we could build with a coal resource. Coal resources are found on hills, and it gives us three extra um, production on the hill squares once we discover it. All right. So with all this in mind, we're going to take invention. And our economy is booming. Gold reserves are over a thousand. As a result, granaries appear in all of our cities. The next economic milestone will occur when we have doubled this amount to over 2,000 gold. I see. And...